Somebody just lift your hands to the Lord. When you leave bwana mkono wako for 2 minutes and worship him. Kwa dakika mbili ndio uweze kumabudu. God you are great. Mungu wewe ni mkuu. Ancient of days. Mwenye enzi. Man of war. Mwenye vita. King of kings and Lord of lords. Falme wa falme na bwana wa mabwana. Come down upon us this day. Tusikie siku ya leo. Come down with your majesty. Usuke kwa enzi yako. Come down with your glory. Usuke kwa tukufu wako. Come down riding on a cloud oh God. Usuke katika and make known your works na ukafanye matendo yako kapata kujulikana and speak to our hearts na unenee mioyo yetu and turn our hearts to your face oh god na ubadilishe mioyo yetu kuelekea kwako and turn our hearts to your commands jehovah god na ubadilishe mioyo yetu kwa mausi yako teach us this day tufunze siku ya leo correct us this day usurekebishe siku ya leo rebuke us this day usukemee siku ya leo embrace us this day tukumbatie that when we leave this hall tukitoka mahali hapa we shall be better than we came in tutakuwa bora kuliko vile tulivyokuja bring the revival back urejeshe wa mwisho bring the revival back rejeshe wa mwisho bring it back in this day irejeshe siku hizi bring it back in our age irejeshe kwa siku zetu now father na sasa baba i bring myself to you ninajileta kwako who am i oh god mimi ni nani mungu that you should on my own me this much ya kwamba unyeshimu jinsi hii who am i mimi ni nani use me this day nitumie siku ya leo and let your name be praised na jina lako liweze kusifiwa in jesus name katika jina la yesu you may kindly take your seat tunaweza tukakaa This is a day that the Lord has made. Hii ni siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Tutaifurahia na kuishangilia. This is a day. Hii ndiyo siku that the Lord has made. Ambayo Bwana ameifanya. This is like the day. Hii ni kama siku when Elijah stood on the mountain ambayo Eliya alisimama mlimani and called forth for fire. Na akaweza kuitisha moto. This is like the day hii ni kama siku when all of Israel ambapo Israeli yote turn back to their God nilimgeukia Mungu wao This day I have a word from the Lord leo ninalo nitotoka kwa Bwana it is a heavy word ni neno ngumu and I pray for grace to bring it forth na naomba neema kuweza kuizungumza The title is Kichwa cha Ujumbe in the jaws of Jezebel. Katika midomo ya Jezebel. Look at your neighbor and say in the jaws of Jezebel. Muangalie jirani yako umwambie katika midomo ya Jezebel. Look at someone on the other side and say in the jaws of Jezebel. Yuko huyo mwingine umeka katika midomo ya Jezebel. Look at someone behind you and say in the jaws of Jezebel. Muangalie mwingine ambaye yuko nyuma yako umwambie katika midomo ya Jezebel. We got to read a few scriptures to some maandiko chache from the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 1 to 9. Kwa kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza 19 mstari wa kwanza hadi 9. 1 Kings wafalme wa kwanza 19 19 from verse 1 mstari wa kwanza. And if you're there say amen. Na kama uko mali pale sema amina. We are also going to read from the book of Revelation pia tutasoma kitabu cha ufunuo chapter 2 mlango wa pili verse 18 to 26 mstari wa 12 hadi 26 revelation 2 ufunuo mlango wa pili 18 to 26 mstari wa 18 hadi 26 the first one of was first kings 19:1 ya kwanza ilikuwa na falme wa kwanza 19 to 9 and the second one is revelation 2 na pili ni ufunuo mlango wa pili 18 to 26 kuanzia mstari wa 18 hadi 26 na we begin with first king tuanze na falme wa kwanza 19 19 now he had told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with a sword so Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say may the gods deal with me 
be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to be a shepherd in Judah, he left his servant there, while he himself went a day's journey into the desert. He came to a broom tree, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the tree and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was a cake of bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. Then the angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by that food, he traveled for forty days and forty nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. Let us just go on. Let us go on. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied. I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death with a sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the, mouth, at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put down your prophets to death with a sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazael king over Aram. Let us turn to Revelation. Chapter 2, 18 to 26. And if you're there, say Amen. Revelation chapter 2, 18 to 26. To the angel of the church in Theatira, write, These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire, and his foot are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you, you tolerate that woman who calls herself, that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. By her teachings, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering. And I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Theatira, to you who do not hold to our teaching, and have not learned certain ways or certain so-called deep secrets. I will not impose any other burden on you. Only hold on to what you have until I come. To him who overcomes and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. May God bless his word. In the jaws of Jezebel.
I want us to understand this day that there are three spirits that are operating in the church of today. There is the spirit of Elijah. There is the spirit of Jezebel. And there is the spirit of Ahab. And at this hour, brothers and sisters, at this time, we have had our victories. We have had our successes. But we are at the point that Elijah was and at that moment Elijah and Ahab were in the jaws of Jezebel they were being destroyed the spirit of Ahab is the spirit of compromise the spirit of playing along with whatever comes it is a spirit that will side with Elijah when Elijah is at the top and this spirit will side with Jezebel when Elijah is down and out it is a spirit that knows how to play along and I will get to the spirit of Ahab later as I come as I conclude who was Jezebel in the ancient Israel she was a queen in Israel the wife of Ahab the daughter of the priest who was also the king of Tyre and Sidon and his name was Ethbal Queen Jezebel persuaded Ahab to introduce the worship of the Tyrian god that was known as Baal Malkat into Israel thus interfering with the exclusive worship of Yahweh Jezebel of ancient Israel did not invent the spirit of Jezebel she only personified that spirit because this spirit was there before Jezebel became for the wife of David Milka she had a Jezebel spirit and so the Jezebel of ancient Israel personified this and this is what we know today in the house of God as the spirit of Jezebel I want to take you through what the spirit of Jezebel can do and as I take you through this point I believe that by the power of the spirit of God you will be able to identify in our midst a Jezebel spirit seeks control through manipulation she prefers to remain concealed in the background while she manipulates situations and leaders she likes to appear close to leaders and use their influence she likes to use the power and influence of others to accomplish her goals and control her environment and this is shown in the book of First Kings 21.8 and it says Jezebel wrote letters in Ahab's name and sent them with his seal and sent them to the elders and nobles of the city it has a deep hatred of true spiritual authority Jezebel she uses witchcraft and obsessive sensuality in her pursuit of power she will not live with anyone and in the Hebrew the name Jezebel means literally 
without cohabitation she will not live or cohabit with those she cannot dominate and control she will have no equals control is what Jezebel wants more than anything she is always associated with pleasure especially sexual pleasure she will use any form of sensuality at her disposal to gain influence and control she will bring lust which is merely a tool used to weaken others in order for her to accomplish her goal of control brothers and sisters we are in the jaws of Jezebel some people in the church will use any tools they can find to bring one down so that they can be on top we are in the jaws of Jezebel Jezebel greatest enemy and her true enemy is spiritual authority as Jezebel opposed Elijah and Herodias opposed John the Baptist so Jezebel today opposes righteous authority she hates righteousness she hates holiness and she hates them who walk in righteousness in her heart she despises all moral authority oh yet she will come to church she will sing and dance she will praise the Lord she will smile and greet the one she despises she will pat you on the back and say that you are blessed she will come before you she will hug you then she will go behind you and she will hang you she will come before you she will kiss you then she will go behind you and she will bite you. We are in the jaws of Jezebel. In our land today, Jezebel is the arrogant, angry spirit behind the portion, crying, It's my choice. Don't tell me what to do. She is the voice behind the homosexuals who shout, It's my right. She has cleverly manipulated debate and positioned herself behind the seat of power she is the power behind the rebirth of witchcraft in our culture Jezebel she calls to millions of teenagers through popular music and movies telling them that the new age witchcraft will give them power I want to say this to the parents do not judge your son for what is in your house is the spirit of Jezebel they don't want to be ruled over they don't want to be told what to do they know everything but it's Jezebel she's the force behind the psychic hotline nowadays there are some hotlines that people can call and they can get sexual gratification we are in the jaws of Jezebel she is the reason so many young men turn to homosexuality desperately seeking recognition and acceptance in an attempt to weaken righteous leadership she comes as an angel of light saying the Lord says God has spoken to me oh last night I had this dream which is a lie she is behind the 
explosion of pornography. She's luring Christians into secret lives of bondage and condemnation. Some leaders was powerful men of prayer <laughs> are not to ascend to even sneak into the throne room they are racked with condemnation they have been reduced to being mere eunuchs of Jezebel we are in the jaws of Jezebel men with the calling of David have become pleasure shark Ahabs. We are two more in the jaws of Jezebel. Men who sought the law then they walk into strippers clubs into night clubs we love of your siku seeking pleasure. Walk it a We are in the jaws of Jezebel. She is not only visible in society. Oh, she feels quite home in the church. First Kings 2 21 9 says. In those letters. Jezebel wrote Proclaim a day of fasting And sweet Naboth In a prominent place among the people But sit two scoundrels opposite him And have them testify That he has cast both God And the king Then take him out And stone him to death Jezebel has no problem with fasting. She has no problem with God. She gets religion when she needs it. She gets the Lord when she needs her. Jezebel with a heart of ice. She gained control of neighbor's vineyard. The pretense of a fast. Manipulation. She manipulates. God has told me. You will give me this. She manipulates. And says that God has shown me that you are supposed to give me this car. That you are supposed to surrender your heart. Because I am the prophet. She is a manipulator. She is among us brothers and sisters. She sits in our churches. She sings when we sing. Prays when we pray. Praises when we pray. Shouts when we shout. Claps when we clap. She jumps when we jump. We are in the jaws. She knows when to get religion and when to get dirty. Remember the adulterous woman in Proverbs chapter 7? She first lowered the foolish young man with this word. I've just finished making my peace offering. And I've come looking for you. She made sure that the young man knew she was a good religious woman before she seduced him. In the church, she will first attempt to get close to the past. Or other leaders with flattery. She will attempt to gain their confidence. My God, she calls herself a prophetess. And often manipulates others with her spirituality. Her deep truth usually results in condemnation. And burdens for those in her care. While she often claims to have this inspired message. She calls us 
stands a prophet as according to Revelation 2 20, of course. She usually discourages other prophetic voices until she can control them. She will attempt to cause leaders to be suspicious of true prophetic messengers. She will create an Eli she can find. Fight off true prophetic voice. She has powerful demonic anointing to intimidate anointing in quotes. To intimidate, create fear, and cause men of God to withdraw. We are in the jaws of Jezebel. She will steal your vision. She makes you depressed. And anxious when there is nothing significantly different in your circumstances. She makes you feel like dying when in reality you are God, God's man of the hour. She makes all joy to depart. Spiritual life seems irrelevant. Demonic voices echo in your mind. Something is wrong with you. Jezebel. She loves politics. And influences church politics. She hates the prophets. And all prophetic ministry. She hates repentance. Humility and intercessory prayer because they destroy her strongholds of stubbornness and her pride. It is the spirit of blackmail. Yes, if one does not go along with his or her action, there will be consequences. If you don't do this, I will pull out. If you don't come to my church, I will withdraw my tithe. If you don't come, I will never come to you again. Jezebel is a spirit of revenge. And when Jezebel heard what Elijah had done, she said, she sent a message to Elijah that by this time tomorrow may the gods deal with me so severely if I shall not have done to you like one of those prophets revenge brothers and sisters the sad news is that many of us have fallen under the spell of the Jezebel spirit. Many of us in the church, we have fallen under this spell. The spirit of manipulation and extortion. We use God's name to get what we want. We use the names of our leaders to get what we want. We are in the jaws of Jezebel. We want control. We want to be in power. We want to dominate when we use persuasion to gain influence and to get close to those in control. When we use this position gradually to dominate, when we use impressive words and a sly submission, we are in the jaws. We talk about brotherly love today. But we do just the opposite tomorrow. We call one another brother. Tomorrow we call you a bosser. We feel we are spiritually elevated. And we need no teaching. We say by any means necessary. I will get what I want. Whether I compromise. Whether I walk on your head. Head. When I walk on your toes, I will get it.
We never admit Atukubali. our guilt or relinquish the sense of power. Ama we never kukweli. admit we are wrong. Atukubali. Oh, makosa. it is always the fault of someone else. Ni mara, ni makosa ya it mingine. is always the fault of somebody else. Ni makosa Do you mara. remember that spirit? In the our first parents, they have and Eve. It was not Adam by mistake. It was a serpent. Ni, ni it zoka. was my wife. This is the spirit of Jezebel. Jezebel. We are in the jaws of Jezebel. Jezebel. This day, Sikui. we are in contrast tuna, tuna, to the nangani. will of God. Na ya Mungu. Our will and desires have become our goals. Our will must be accomplished regardless of the, result, of the process. We become temporarily remorseful. But soon we go back to our controlling tactics. Jezebel will cry. She will weep. To impress. She will manipulate you with tears. When she is cornered. So that you can withdraw. As is typical of Jezebel, we complain that we weren't appreciated enough. I was not recognized. I was not honored. No one mentioned my name. Jezebel. In our self-centered nature, we go to any length by lying and exaggerating to make ourselves look spiritual. Jezebel will come and she will say, I preach and 500 people got saved. Yet there only two she will come and say I have prayed for the sick and they, they, they got healed which is a lie we are in the jaws of Jezebel see brothers and sisters some of us may argue right now even as I speak and say that I am not a Jezebel. I do not qualify in that category of the Jezebel spirit. Some may even be bitter that God dares call us Jezebel. It is true. Some of us may not be Jezebel. It is true. Some of us may not be Jezebels. But we may be the Ahabs. Who make sure that Jezebel. Is in control. See, Jezebel, see, Ahab is a coward. Ahab, Ahab cannot confront and say this is wrong. See, Ahab turns her head or his head from the tactics of Jezebel. See, Ahab reasons. But after all, she is religious and works out in the church. See, Ahab will say. Oh yes, that man is gifted. That young lady is gifted. Oh yes, she can preach and she can sing. See, don't, don't, don't touch her. See, it's Ahab. The spirit of Ahab. Now I want to say that the greatest weakness among the leaders of today is the fear of confrontation. We want peace without paying the price of confronting the manipulation and con the controlling tactics of the Jezebel spirit. As for the Ahab spirit, the spirit is known to abdicate his authority. It speaks of a mindset that avoids confrontation and denies any fault. The spirit of Ahab is weak and fearful. The spirit of Ahab loves its position. But fears to confront. Walking in tandem or together. The spirits of Ahab and Jezebel. 
Quietly form a God-dependent relationship. Both will need. They will need and feed off the other. In order to accomplish their goals. The one thing with the air of spirit is this. We read in the Bible. When Elijah was on top of the mountain. He was not alone. The whole of Israel was there. 850 prophets of Baal and Ashtara was there. Above all. The king of Israel was there. There. Ahab. Ahab. Then God answers with fire. And the Bible says that all Israel bowed and cried to God. And they say the Lord is God. And sometimes I want to ask this question. Where was Ahab when all Israel bowed? I want to believe he was bowing with them. So the Bible says that when Elijah was through and the fire had fallen. He said to Ahab, now go up and eat. And the Bible says Ahab went up and ate. But Elijah said to the Israelites, get hold of all the prophets of Baal and Asheroth. And he took them to the river. And what does my Bible say? He slaughtered them at that river. My question is, did Ahab know that the prophet had been slaughtered by the fact that he did not act shows that he had a repentant heart by the fact that he did not rise to defend his prophet it shows he agreed with what Elijah was doing but look at the spirit of Ahab the next verse we read the Bible says and Ahab called Jezebel what Elijah had done the spirit of Ahab does not take any blame they always come to you they are with you when you are shining they are with you when you are flying they are with you when you are sowing high oh yes they will be with you they will stamp everything See, when you confront they will say it is true it is true but when they meet Jezebel they will not say they were there they will say did you hear what so and so said we are in the Jordan we are in the jaws of Jezebel brothers. and Jezebel control Ahab see the spirit of Ahab is the spirit of ambition the spirit of opportunists it is the spirit of self it is a spirit that does not care what the church says. He enjoys himself. It is a spirit of compromise. Ahab abdicated his spiritual responsibility. He fell back when Jezebel came into the sin. The spirit of Ahab is the spirit of ignorance. It has no fear of Yahweh. Spirit of ignorance. Ahab will ignore the things that Jezebel is doing. See, there is this case. And Ahab one day had a desire of a certain land. Yeah, Naboth Vineyard. He goes to Naboth and we know that story. Then he goes back home and he says to Jezebel, he's troubled. And Jezebel comes and asks, what, what's wrong with you? And Ahab says, there, there is this uh, vineyard. That I desire. But the owner has refused. To give it to me. What does Jezebel say? Aren't you the king of Israel? I will get it for you. 
And what has Jezebel do? Na Jezebel anafanya nini? She writes letters. Anaandika barua. In Ahab's name. Kwa jina ya Ahab. And the typical of the spirit of Ahab. Na tabia ya roho ya Ahab. He does not confront. Yeye akabiliani. He moves into the land. Yeye anafuatana tu na mambo. I have a message for you. Kwa hivyo nao jumba kwako. When God declared judgment Mungu anapotangaza hukumu upon Ahab juu ya Ahab it was not because of his deeds haikuwa kwa ajili ya matendo yake it was because of Jezebel's deeds ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya matendo ya Jezebel it was because he concurred ni kwa sababu alikubaliana with the Jezebel's spirit na roho ya Jezebel spirit of Ahab roho ya Ahab is a disobedient spirit ni roho ya kutokuti it does not obey the word of God Aiti neno la Mungu. Though he is there witnessing fire fall from heaven. Ingawaje yuko pale anaona moto kutoka mbinguni. He is responsible for a minute. Ye tu anavunjika kwa muda. Then is back to his controlling tactic. Kisha anarudia tabia yake tu yote. He cries and repents for a moment. Analia na kutubu kwa muda. Then he goes back. Kisha anarejea. And concurs with the spirit. Na nakubaliana na ile roho. Of Jezebel. Ye Jezebel. We read a scripture. Tumelisoma andiko of a man of god by the name of elijah ya mtu wa mungu kwa jina elia at a moment when he was so discouraged ule akata mapa alikuwa amevunjika moyo at a moment when he was so down wakati mapa alikuwa ameshushwa chini and he could not he had no hope na hakuwa na tumaini he went before god and said lord i have heard enough akamwenda mungu anasema yote mane maana imetosha i want to die ningetaka kufa i am just like one of my ancestors mimi tu ni kama baba zangu na kalala see this time wakati huu elijah had just come from the mountain elia alikuwa ametoka mlimani from a powerful revival meeting kutoka mkutano wa nguvu wa mso from a fiery conference kutoka kwa kongamano lenye moto from a great place kutoka pali pa nguvu and he had ran na alikuwa amekimbia and overtook even the chariots of ahab na kwa shinda ta magari ya farasi yake that time he was on top wakati ule alikuwa kileleni but do you see the tactics of jezebel lakini unaziona mbinu za jezebel Elijah heard the voice of Jezebel. Elia aliposikia sauti ya Jezebel. He went down. Akashushwa kwa moyo. And at this moment, na wakati ule, he was in the jaws. Alikuwa katika mdomo of Jezebel. Wa Jezebel. And he was afraid. Na aliogopa. He was at the mercy. Alikuwa katika rema of the spirit. Ya ile roho of Jezebel. Ya Jezebel. And he was down. Na alikuwa chini. And out. Na alikuwa ameshwa. Subdue. Akiwa amesindwa. And defeated. Alikuwa amesindwa. Crash. Akiwa amefunjika moto. And broken. Na akiwa amefunjika moto. This is where we are as the church of this day. Na hapo ndipo tulipo kama kanisa sasa leo. Crash. Tumeweza kushindwa. Tumeweza kuwekwa chini. We are defeated. Tumeshindwa. We are overcome. Tumeweza kushindwa. By the spirit. Na ile roho. Jezebel. Yeye Jezebel. We don't have many books that have been written concerning the history of the revival in our land of Kenya. Hatuna vitabu ambavyo zinazungumza historia ya uamshi katika nchi ya Kenya. But we have witnesses. Lakini tunao masaidi who saw the revivals. Ambao waliona uamsho. And brothers and sisters. Na wandugu na wadada. I may not have been born by then. Naweza kuwa sikuwa nimezaliwa wakati ule. But I saw my mother speak of Bishop Marema. Nimesikia mama wangu akizungumzia Askofu Murima. I was looking at the reaction of the people who knew this man. Na nilikuwa naona nyuso za lata ambao walikuwa na mjomo huyu. Ningesema there was revival. Kulikuwa na uamsho. But Jezebel came in. Lakini Jezebel akaingilia. The same spirit. Ile roho. The Bible says in the book of Malachi. Katika kitabu cha Malachi. That in the last days I will release the spirit of Elijah. Inasema kama atachilia roho Elia. Turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children back to their fathers. Give them your kingdom baba kwa toto na mimi na baba kwa toto. Lakini ningependa utambue kitu. Every time God releases the spirit of Elijah. Kila wakati Mungu anapoatilia roho Elia. He releases the spirit of Jezebel. Adui anatilia roho ya Jezebel. The Elijah in the Bible. Angalia ile katika Biblia. Look at John the Baptist. Angalia yana mbadi zake. He came in the power and the spirit of Elijah. Aliye kuja katika nguvu na uwezo wa Elia. Nani alimshusha? The spirit of Jezebel. Roe Zebedi. That was in Herodias. Ambaye alikuwa ndani ya Herodia. We are in the jaws. Tumo katika mdomo. Of Jezebel. Wa Zebedi. We are right there. Tuko pale. Down and out. Tukiwa tumepigwa chini na kushindwa. We have no fire. 
Atuna moto. We have no prayers on our mountains. Atuna maumbi katika milima yetu. No more caves. Hakuna tena kwenda katika mapango. No more rain of his presence. Hakuna tena mvua ya uwepo wake. Oh yes, we are just like Elijah. Tuko tu kama Elia. In the jaws of Jezebel. Katika mdomo wa Izebeli. See the Bible says that an angel comes. Bila sema malaika kaza. And says to Elijah get up and eat and go. Akamwambia inuka ule na windi. The journey is long. Kwa sababu safari ni ndefu. And as Elijah is walking one question that I had is this. Anapotembea sana moja jana ndio nalo ni hivi. How on earth did Elijah think of walking into the desert? Alifikiriaje kutembea kielekeo jangwani? See the spirit of Jezebel is a spirit of confusion. Roya Jezebel ni roya ya kuchanganyisha. For the Lord had not told Elijah go to the desert. Bwana hakomwambia Elia ende na jangwani. God meets Elijah in the desert he asks what are you doing here? Mungu anapokutana na jangwani anamuuliza unafanya nini mahali hapa? See in the first case when Elijah had run we understand the spirit of God had said run. Mara ya kwanza alipokimba leo roho Mungu alisema kimbia. But at this time. Lakini kufikia wakati ule. Jezebel. Jezebel. Fear. Aliogopa. Control. Kutawala. Manipulation. Na kudanganya. And confusion. Na kuchanganyika. Ah tactics. Zikaweza so When you corner this spirit of Jezebel. Unapoishinda hii roho ya Jezebel. You corner her. Unapomkabili. And you're questioning her. Unaweza kumuliza maswali. She will never talk straight. Ye hata yezungumza wazi. She will tell you this. Hata kuambia hii na ile na ile nyingine create confusion. Hili kwaza kutanganyisha so that you will not pain her. Hili uweze uweze usiweze kumshinda. And this day na siku hii we have walked into the desert. Tumetembea jangwani in confusion. Katika kutanganyikiwa the desert of self pity. Jangwa za kuweza kujurumia. The desert of pain and agony. Jangwa za uchungu. The desert of longing for the days that are gone by. Jangwa ya kutamani siku zilizopita. The Lord. Na Bwana is asking. Anauliza. What are you doing here? Ni nini unachofanya mali hapa? What are you doing? Ni nini unafanya? This is a question that I don't want God to ask me. Hii ni swali ambayo singelitaka Mungu aniulize. What are you doing here? Ni nini unafanya hapa? It reveals he never sent me here. Hii inaonyesha kwamba hakunituma mahali pale. And do you see what God says to Elijah? Unaona kila mtu Mungu anamwambia Elia. He gives him an assignment. Anampatia jukumu. But watch this. Lakini angalia hii. He says, anasema, Go back the way you came. Rudi katika ile njia uliyotoka. Brothers and sisters we got to go back to where God is. Lazima tudeje pale ambapo Mungu yuko. Where we lost him. Pale ambapo tulimpoteza. Where we lost him. Pale ambapo tulimpoteza. In our places of prayer. Pale petu pa maombi. In our places of sacrifice. Pale petu pa kutoa dhabihu. Oh the days we wept for a whole night. Zile siku ambazo tulilia usiku wote. There is all the move of God. Tukaona utembezi wa Mungu. We have read tumesoma in Revelation. Katika ufunuo God has said Mungu amesema I know ninajua your deeds. Matendo yako. Your love upendo wako and faith na imani. Your service utumishi wako na kuvumilia and that you are now doing more than you did na kama watenda mengi zaidi kuliko vile ulivyokifanya at first mara yako ya kwanza lakini i hold this against you ninasikilia hii kinyume na wewe you tolerate wewe unamstahimili that spirit called Jezebel. Hiyo roho inaitwa Jezebel. And brothers and sisters, I have come here to make an announcement. Na nimekuja hapa kufanya tangazo. And to say that God will cast the spirit of Jezebel in a bed of suffering. Mungu atalali roho ya Jezebel katika kitanda chake cha mateso. And all who eat with her. Na wale wote ambao wanakula pamoja naye. In to make things clear. Kufanya mambo yawe wazi. Those who eat with her. Wale wanaokuja naye. Ah the prophets the Eight hundred and fifty prophets. Ni wale manabi mi anani namsi. Also the spirit of Ahab. Ampi na ro ya habu. As I come to a conclusion. Napo kamilisha. 
I want to say this. Ningependa kusema hivi. That there are two ways. Ya kama kuna njia mbili. We can struggle. Tunaweza kungangana. With the spirit of Jezebel. Na roho ya Jezebel. Until we win. Hadi tushinde. Oh brothers and sisters, I want to assure you this is not an easy war. Lakini tutakuwa kisema kwamba hii sio vita rahisi. We are in hard jaws. Yuko katika mdomo wake. And when you are in the jaws or an animal is in the jaws of another one. La nyamo kio katika mdomo wa mwingine. They always struggle to get free. Kila mara wanangangana kuwa huru. And now we have to struggle. Sasa lazima tungangane. Get free. Ili tuwe huru. Number one. Ya kwanza, we got to go back to intercession and prayer. Lazima turejelee maombi na uombezi. We got to go back to the same place that we sought God, to the places that we met him, to the places that he spoke to us. Lazima turejelee pale mambo mtukutana Mungu na pale mapo yeye aliweza kutunenea. Number 2. Ya pili, we got to have the spirit of Elijah which is the spirit of confrontation. Lazima tuwe na roho ya Elia ambaye ni roho ya makubaliano. We have to confront. Lazima tukabiliane. This spirit of Jezebel. He roho ya Ezebeli. See what is the spirit of Elijah? Roho ya Elia ni nini? And who is this Elijah? Na Elia ni nani? The Bible says in the last days Bila sema siku za mwisho. The spirit of Elijah will be released upon the earth. Roho ya Elia tachilio ulimwenguni. The spirit of Elijah. Roho ya Elia. The spirit that mends the generational rift. Ni roho ambaye anaunganisha fathers and their children. Kati ya wazazi na watoto wao. The spirit of witness. Ni roho ya ushuhuda. to declare who God is. Mimi nilikutangaza Mungu ni nani? The spirit in the voice. Ni roho na sauti. That calls from the wilderness. Ambaye inatoka kutoka jangwani. Is the spirit. Ni roho. And the voice. Na sauti. That is raised from the back sides of the desert. Ambaye mimi nilikutoka jangwani. The spirit of the apostolic messengers. Ni roho ya mitume wa Mungu. Knowledge of God. Ambao nafahamu wa Mungu. Men and women. Wake na ume. Who intimately understand. Ambao nielewa. Yearning. Ile mo- and burning. Samanio. Of his heart. Ya moyo wake. Those who know what God is saying. Wale ambao anajua Mungu anachosema. Thinking. Anachofikiria. Feeling. Na kuisi. In this hour. Wakati huu. That is Elijah. Hiyo ni roho hii. It is a spirit. Ni roho. That can rightly declare. Mbele zatangaza. The knowledge of God. Ufahamu wa Mungu. His emotions. Na isia zake. The word is creation. Na ju, ju, it is wake. a spirit. Niro. The hearts the heart of the fathers. Amen. To the children. children. For now. And the hearts of the children. Na to the fathers. Kwa baba zao. This is a spirit. Hii ni roho. The sons instruct us. Ambaye inaleta welezi. Into fathers. Kwa baba. This spirit of Elijah. Hii roho Elia. Causes fathers. Inafanya kina baba. To affectionately. Kwa upendo. Long for their sons and daughters. Kutamani wana na binti zao. The very longing of the eternal father. Na itamani ya Mungu it baba. Because as men of God. Inafanya watu wa Mungu to throw their mantles. Kuweka jozi zao. On the Elisha generation. Juu ya kizazi cha Elisha. And impart not only the gospel. Na kutupitia sio injili. But their lives as well. Bali pia maisha yao. We need the spirit of Elijah. Mitaji lo Elia. We are to defeat Jezebel. Kama tumshinda Ezebeli. The spirit of Elijah. Roho ya Elia. Release this revelation of the eternal father. Ni atile funio baba bila of Elijah. Roho Elia. We heal the wounds of a fatherless generation. Ni tafanya jeraha za kizazi cha mtoto na baba. The spirit of Elijah. Ni tajiro Elia. We are to defeat Jezebel. Na watamshinda Ezebeli. Spirit of Elijah. Roho ya Elia. Spirit of prophetic. Ni roho ya unabii. And apostolic intercession. Na uombeza kitume. The spirit of Elijah. Roho ya Elia. Carries there a transgenerational anointing. Inabeba upa kwa kizazi. It does not only rest with Elijah. Haiko tu na Elia. Goes from generation Inaendelea kwa kizazi kwa kizazi kwa generation kwa vizazi vingine It is the last anointing of God Ni upako wa mwisho wa Mungu that will proceed Ambaye atatangulia coming of the Lord Kuja kwa Bwana The spirit of Elijah Roho ya Elia has the power over the heavens Ina nguvu za mbingu The spirit of Elijah Roho ya Elia has power over the elements of the earth Ina nguvu za mbingu The spirit of Elijah Roho ya Elia power Ina nguvu time and seasons na majira We need the spirit tunahitaji roho ya elia it is a spirit ni roho of the 
end time yes, to mwisho. demonstrate Kudirisa. the power of God. Guvuza, it is a spirit of overtaking. It is a spirit of confrontation. It is a spirit of non-compromise. It is a spirit that will stand and he will look the devil in the face and he will say get out of my land get out of my family get out of my children that is the spirit of Elijah my brothers and sisters this day we need the spirit of Elijah if we are to come out of the jaws of Jezebel we need Elijah why do we need Elijah God used Elijah to destroy the Jezebel of Israel. Why? Because Elijah, though he was down, though he was subdued, though he had been defeated, he rose up in power and in strength. The power of intercession, the power of prayer, the power of God. We need tunaitaji Elijah Elia we need tunaitaji Elijah Elia brothers and sisters wandugu na I want to say today there are not many Elijahs in the church hakuna maelia wengi kanisani there are many Ahabs lakini kuna abu wengi want to please ambao tukufurahi sana but it is time lakini wakati for the Elijah generation wa kizazi cha Elia let us rise to our feet. I want us in intercessory prophetic intercessory prayer. Kwa maombi ya kinabii. We begin to call on the heavens. Tuanze kuita bingu. That we may lose ourselves. From the spirit of Jezebel. Kutoka roho ya Jezebeli. You may have been surrounded by this spirit. Unaweza kama tumekuwa na hilo. After this message now you know it. Na baada ya ujumbe tumejua. You may have been surrounded by the spirit of Ahab. Unaweza kama tumekuwa na roho ya Ahab. Now after this spirit now you know it. Somebody get into prayer. Let us cry to our God. Let us cry to our God. For the spirit of Jezebel. She has to lose the church. She has to lose the church. She has to let go of the church. She has to set us free. It is now, brothers and sisters. It is now. Rekaya. Somebody begin to speak in other tongues right now. Somebody begin to speak in other tongues right now. Let us wrestle ourselves out of this spirit. Let us kick this spirit out of our lives. That we may see the righteousness of God. And just like God said. In the book of Revelation. To him who overcomes. And does my will to the end. I will give authority. Over the nations. We shall overcome. We have to overcome. Kayanta habaya reke ya kanta habaya ema ya zekita esho ko hote ama ama ya sekata I don't know about you. Did you, did you but I got to wrestle this spirit. Like let me pray my life. Out of this church. Out of this nation. In the name of Jesus. My God, my God. Zekayanta ha, oshi kanta ha, zeketa haraba, moshi kanta ha, yekanta ha. Hey Jezebel, I confront you now. In the name of Jesus, I confront you now. In the name of Jesus, get out of my life. Get out of my church. Get out of my nation. Get out of my
Massacre. Massacre. 